Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, we're gonna go over the biggest winners, some of the biggest winners in 2023, and some of the best opportunities in 2023, and then go over these um, setups and see what we missed and how what we could have done to catch them in real time next time they happen. So yeah, this is a process that I do every couple of months just so I can see what are the biggest stocks, uh, what what were the biggest opportunities of the year or the quarter, and then try to go over them and see what I could have done to place myself in those opportunities. This is a really good practice for serious traders and for traders that are trying to get better every single day and uh, improve their edge. All right, so we'll get started with uh, Palantir. So Palantir had a really nice run this year. So it's forming a really nice base here. And then a gap, or there was a gap up um, because of earnings. And then uh, with that gap up, it had tremendous volume, right? This is very significant volume. When you see volume like this, this is a clear sign, a very clear sign that institutions are buying up. Look at the volume bars from before and look at the volume bars here, right? It's a very clear sign that institutions have been buying up the stock. And uh, as soon as you see the first volume bar, that's when you want to start paying attention to the stock. But yeah, Palantir was in a very nice base here for, whoops, was forming a really nice base here and then it broke out. And when you, when it broke out, you want to you wanna make sure that you were paying attention to it. So Palantir gapped up on earnings on this day and then started to form very nice flag here. So this flag was definitely tradable and it would have, would have been a very good buy point on this day on 5.17. And then had a really nice rally, formed a couple more flags here, another flag, another flag, then one more flag, right? Very simple flag setups, but um, yeah, many opportunities. And then here, Palantir started basing here, and then there was some resistance into that $17 area, and then it rejected, and then consult it pulled back in pretty hard, and then consolidated very tightly around that 15.75 level. And then there was another uh, flag set up over there. Um, and then it, <clears throat> it broke out, uh, made a pretty nice move. Another flag formed over there and then um, pulled back in pretty hard. And then it gapped up again. Um, yeah, but ever since that gap up, it pulled back in pretty hard. Now it's been basing really well here. Um, and it's been trying to break that 15.75 level, but has been unsuccessful so far. But um, it is basing pretty well. It just needs more time probably. But yeah, that's um, Palantir. But the top opportunities were earlier this year from that first earnings gap up. Really nice flag set up here. Multiple nice flag set ups there. And those were the best times to buy. But you know, overall, Palantir offered tremendous move. Um, there are tremendous opportunities this year from the gap up low to um, uh, this year's highs and made a 135% move. So definitely a very big move. All right, next up, we'll take a look at uh, Stu IONQ. So this is a stock that I've talked about multiple times um, in my weekly watch list videos. But yeah, this stock formed a very nice flag here, made a really big move, then formed a very nice flag tightened up and then broke out and then here it was forming a flag here but this was more choppy but still a flag and then um another flag formed over here or this was a downtrend line not the best flag not the cleanest flag but a downtrend line formed here and then it broke out um pretty well very, very nice move and mm -hmm. then here it was pretty much just basing it's just dropping around here and then when it took out so uh there was a very nice uh, swing trade over here, a quick one to two day swing trade. It's forming a very tight flag here, three days of tight consolidation. And then on this day was a breakout day. And then you could have sold into strengths when it hit that $20 level. Um, but right now this one looks like it needs more basing, a lot of sell volume recently. Um, it's, yeah, it's pulled back in pretty hard now, but um, looks like it needs more time to form an actual base. But overall, this one looks like a really big winner uh, for the long term. Really nice pr price action and uh, has all the signs of a big winner in the long term. But 
um, yeah, the biggest opportunity was this first bull flag breakout. And then this breakout was also nice, although it was a little bit more choppier over here. But uh, yeah, and this one was a really nice uh, swing trade. If you took this trade, sold some into strength, and then the other half, you would have probably been stopped out here at break even, but overall, it's still a very good opportunity. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Tesla. Let me remove my fib lines. So Tesla had made a really nice move off the lows. Um, yeah, it was hundred dollars earlier this year, and now it peaked at two, almost three hundred basically. But yeah, very, very nice move. Um, so Tesla formed a really nice flag here. This was a very nice tight consolidation area, and it gapped up. That would have been a very good buy point. And it formed another flag here. Um, this one wasn't as tight, but still um, a viable flag. And then here, uh, pretty much just based, consolidated. This entire area was pretty much just one, one big base. And then over here, it formed a pretty nice flag here again. And that was a very good area to buy. Then another flag, two-day flag formed here. Another um, opportunity to buy. And then over here, it's starting to get very extended, so I wouldn't be buying here. But um, yeah, and then it gapped up. And then here, it was very choppy, but that was a bull flag over here. It worked for one to two days, and then it pulled back in. Um, and then it gapped up here again, uh, formed the flag, but didn't end up triggering. Um, over here, yeah, not much happened, no real trade opportunities. And then over here, it pulled back in pretty hard. But there was also one more good opportunity here. Very nice bull flag. And then it broke out here with the gap up. And uh, now it's currently yeah just consolidating, but Tesla's acting pretty well. Um, but yeah, the biggest opportunities were over here, over here, and then uh, here were also really good opportunities. Um, next up, IOT. So this stock um, has been gapping up on earnings for the last three quarters now. And uh, uh, when a stock does that, you definitely want to be paying attention. So this one actually is very tricky to trade because uh, it moves. So this was the first earnings gap up. And ever since it gapped up there, it's pretty much just been chopping around. And this was the second gap up earnings. And ever since then, it's pretty much chopping around. Um, <clears throat> no clear move. And then this was the third earnings gap up here. And then ever since then, it's just been chopping around. So this one... So this one's a very hard one to trade, and you'd probably need the weekly chart. But uh, yeah, one thing that um, I really like, like about this name is that when it breaks out, it makes big moves. So this was the first base, right? When it broke out of there, that was a very good buy opportunity on the weekly. And then, um, so yeah, that was probably the best opportunity all year long. And then over here, it formed a very nice flag. Didn't end up breaking out actually broke down and then it bounced off that support level again so very, another very good opportunity to buy now it's uh tested that at the top of the level top of the resistance level and now it's uh, consolidating again but yeah the best opportunity was to buy on that base breakout next up upst this one is very very a strong stock earlier this year and it provided a lot of good opportunities First opportunity was right here, uh, really big volume, uh, and then it formed a very tight consolidation bar on uh, low volume, and uh, this was a very picture perfect bull flag here, and then another flag over here, and then more flags, more flags. But yeah, this stock was super duper strong the entire run, and it didn't pull back much, and that's a very clear sign that. That's a leader potential stock. Um, so when stocks barely pull back, that means there's a lot of relative strength going into them. And a lot of uh, institutions are buying up the stock. And when that happens, they tend to make really, really big runs. And that's exactly what UPST did. It did end up getting killed because of earnings, but overall it still made a really big move and a lot of opportunities this year. But yeah, these are pretty much the flags that I got. Um, Red flag over here maybe but over here it was getting pretty late already into the run but yeah the best flags were earlier into the run very good opportunities on all four of these flags this was also a very nice flag here 
and um, yeah, and another not really nice breakout here, but over here it's getting um, extended. So good idea that it'll probably a pullback here, but on the earnings it got absolutely killed. But overall, this stock provided many many great opportunities for this year. All right, we'll do one more SMCI. <clears throat> Actually, we'll do we'll do Carvana. Carvana offered really nice opportunities as well. So Carvana formed a really nice flag here. It first broke and gapped up on volume, and then consolidated for a while. Made a really nice bull flag, broke out, and um, <clears throat> consolidated again here for a while. Made a bull flag, broke out, and then consolidated here for a while. Made a bull flag, break out, bull flag, break out. And uh, here was a, this wasn't a bull flag, but this was a very nice uh, resistance level here, right? When it took that level out, that would have been a buy. And here formed another bull flag breakout. And now it's uh, currently on, yeah, it's, form, it's currently forming a base here. So that's the resistance level support. And we'll see what happens. But Carvana offered many great opportunities this year. And I think it's one of the biggest winners of 2023. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.